Now, travelers in the U.S. have been subject to widespread flight disruptions over the last several days, leaving thousands of people stranded amid high air travel demand. In the last week, close to 19,000 flights have been cancelled or delayed. Airline companies blame the problems on COVID-19. It's laying their employees low. Those are, of course, exactly the same airline companies that insisted the government needed to lift its face mask mandate on board their aeroplanes. Bad weather has also contributed to the problems. New York City, Chicago and Atlanta are among the worst hit locations. Delta Airlines has been the worst affected, cancelling almost one third of its flights over the weekend. Adding to the problem, the decision by thousands of pilots to seek early retirement at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pilots' union says the airlines failed to replace them in time. It's reported that U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg met with top airline CEOs to discuss the challenges that the industry is facing and urged them to focus on performance improvements. Buttigieg added that he is considering punishing airlines with sanctions if they fail to live up to consumer protection standards. Ironically, a day after the conference was held, Buttigieg's own internal flight was cancelled and he had to drive from Washington to New York City. So we return to New York City and to Weon's correspondent there, Susan Terrani. I mean, Susan, the White House uh, can uh, stamp its feet about this as much as it likes. But at the end of the day, these airlines are private, uh, privately run companies. Uh, I mean, what, if anything, can the White House do uh, to punish them for underperformance or for the kind of problems that the country is, uh, is witnessing? You know, this White House has a habit of punishing big corporations or actually making the threat of constantly punishing uh, organizations and corporations that provide service to the country. First, it was punishing oil companies. Now it aims to punish uh, the airline industry, at least with threats. Uh, one of the reasons that the airline industry is facing these staff shortages was because of the policies of this administration in the beginning. First of all, it, uh, a lot of the uh, workers at these um, uh, organizations like the airlines, for example, uh, you know, they they received the COVID uh, checks, the stimulus checks, and they decided to take a different path. You know, they had those savings. And then there were the policies of the vaccine policies where, um, you know, uh, there were the mandates. They got fired. They decided not to come back to work, so on and so forth. But there's only so much the government can do. They put in place, uh, they're forcing them basically to hire people where a lot of people don't want to go back to work. Uh, because um, they're not getting uh, the uh, benefits that they're getting in other industries. So I guess these airline companies can perhaps, you know, um, raise, you know, their, uh, their, um, their wages. But, you know, at the end of the day, they have to make a profit as well. So sort of uh, demonizing these private companies and corporations and taking a hands-off approach perhaps may not be the best way uh, as to give them an incentive uh, to better their performance. But, um, you know, that's how this administration has been working um, and sort of taking a hands-off approach uh, to everything and putting the blame on, on the other side. Susan Terrani, live for us on Two Stories today in New York City. We'll see you again later in the week. Thanks very much for that.